Hello, my name is William J. Rothwell, and today I'd like to talk with you about a topic that I'm pretty well known for, and that is succession planning. So the title of my talk is Succession Planning Basics. Some of you may be familiar with the third edition of my well-known book, Effective Succession Planning. That book is out in a fourth edition in year 2010, roughly March, and the book is available on Amazon.com or Barnes & Noble or American Management Association's website. AMA is actually the publisher of the book. Today I'd like to give you a briefing about the model in that book that is fairly famous. We know that at least 35 multinational companies have used this model as a foundation for their succession planning programs. And I'm frequently asked to talk about the model in keynote speeches or in seminars to teach HR practitioners and operating managers really what to think about in succession planning. Now it's important to start out by defining succession planning. It is not the same thing as replacement planning. Replacement planning, basically we look within a department or a division and we look within the silo and we identify short-term backups in case of an emergency. But in succession planning, our goal is to develop all the people in the organization to, their, to achieve their potential. And one of the things that we get, have to consider when we get started is the level of commitment of the leaders of the organization. And I would share with you that there's three key things to think about. First, goals. Why do you want a succession planning program? Sounds like a simple question, but it often isn't. Senior leaders as a group may not agree among themselves on what are the measurable goals to be achieved. What are the roles? The roles to be played. Sometimes senior leaders make the mistake of assuming succession planning is an HR responsibility. Well certainly HR has a role to play, but so does everyone else. Senior leaders have a role to play, day-to-day -day managers of workers have a role to play, even the workers have a role to play in the process and that role must be made clear and people must be held accountable for enacting their role and helping to achieve the goals. So we know about 70 percent of all succession programs fail and one reason they fail is because of lack of sustained management commitment. So that first step of getting the commitment, getting the goals clear, the roles clear, and the accountabilities clear is essential. From there on it does get easier but, but uh, there's still hard work. The next step is to clarify the kind of work and the kind of people that we have now. So we clarify the work through up-to-date job descriptions. We clarify the people through up-to-date competency models. Competency models, of course, describe people who are successful doing the work that they do. Then we have to integrate our performance management system in line with those job descriptions and competency models. So we need to make sure that people are being measured on the behaviors linked to the competencies and that they are also being assessed against the results required for their jobs. But you know, it doesn't stop there. The next thing we have to do is consider the future because uh, competitive conditions change and our strategic plan implies changes in the kind of work that people will do in the future and the kind of competencies that will be needed at all levels. So we have to plan for that. We have to drive our strategic objectives down into job descriptions and competency models so we're clear. Then we have to have an objective way to assess potential. Potential really means promotability. How do we know that someone is promotable in an objective way? There are many ways to measure that objectively, but we have to make the effort. And two final steps. We have to narrow those gaps between where someone is now, where they need to be, 
through individual development plans, and finally we have to evaluate how well the whole system, the whole succession program is working. Thank you very much.